Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to schedule a live stream on YouTube using your webcam and your microphone on your laptop or desktop computer. Hi, my name is Travis Flans with Search Center Digital Marketing and let's get to it. So here I am at YouTube. Um, I'm just on my own personal channel here for this demo. And uh, so to set up a live stream for the future, you're gonna to need to go into your uh, YouTube studio. You can use either your personal account or your brand account. Either way works the same, but for this uh, purpose, I am using my personal account. All right, so uh, from YouTube, you're gonna go into uh, your YouTube studio. And now you're in the YouTube studio. We're gonna hit the live stream button here where it says go live. And now you have a couple options. You can uh, stream using a separate streaming software uh, such as OBS or StreamYard. But we're gonna use our actual webcam and our microphone. So let's go down to the webcam section. And if you get a pop-up that says YouTube wants to use your microphone and your camera, we're gonna allow that. And now we're gonna create a title uh, for our future stream, live stream that we're gonna set up. And I'm gonna call this, um, let's just call it something simple, test streaming to YouTube. Test streaming YouTube. <laughs> there we go. Test streaming to YouTube with webcam. Um, you can make this a public link so everybody will see it. Unlisted means only the people you give the link to will see it or private only you. Uh, being that we're live streaming, uh, you definitely don't want to use private. Most likely you want to use public. Whenever it's public, it will uh, also notify your subscribers that an upcoming live stream is coming up and it will also send them a notification as soon as you start live streaming as well as uh, a reminder that one is coming up. So I'm gonna select public, and sorry to any subscribers, uh, I don't have very many on my personal account, but uh, you may get some notifications that aren't gonna be real. Um, so for schedule later, it is uh, 7.06 here local time. I'm just going to select, um, let's just say 7.20 p.m. Is it made for kids? No, it's not. Um, that's if it's made specifically for kids. Now you can add a description here. This will be your YouTube video description. Um, I definitely recommend filling this out with relevant, valuable information. If you already have the topic for your live stream, it's good to put an outline here. Any links back to your website or your shop if uh, you're talking about relevant products or your business. Uh, so I'm just gonna put a test description, but uh, definitely this is an important area because after you live stream the videos are still going to be on YouTube and the description is is what's searchable in both Google search and YouTube search so um, enter a big description that is very uh, relevant to the video uh, what section is it in uh, choose one that works here YouTube doesn't give you a ton of options quite honestly I wish they would give more uh, because a lot of what I do doesn't fall into any of these categories. So just pick one that fits um, your business or you, the topic of your video the best. I am just going to put education. And then you want to choose which webcam, if you have multiple webcams. I have, uh, as you see, three different things hooked up here. Um, and then you also want to choose your microphone that you're going to be using. Again, I have multiple microphones. And then advanced settings, those were the advanced settings. Oh no, I'm sorry, here are the advanced settings. Do you wanna allow people to chat with your video going on live? Uh, I usually say yes on that. And if you are actually promoting any uh, products or services that are not your business, is if you've been paid to endorse these products, make sure you mention that here as well. Uh, all right, so there we go and we've scheduled it for Monday May 18th 7 20 p.m. which is 12 minutes from right now and we're gonna hit next and I'm just gonna make a face for a thumbnail uh, because you have the option to 
to create a thumbnail or to, I'm sorry, to upload a thumbnail. And if you don't upload one, then it's going to want to take a photo. So I'm just going to take a photo right there um, for now. But now let's go and look look at what um, our subscribers are going to see and how you get back in here to, when it's time to go live. Um, so let's go back to the front end and take a look at our YouTube channel. I'm just going to go back to to my account here. Having a hard time typing. And here you see I'm logged in in my account and we see that we have a scheduled scheduled YouTube uh, <laughs> live stream coming up for 7.20 p.m. Um, let's look at it as if I'm logged in as somebody else. Here I'm logged in as my business account. Let me refresh. And we see that, hey, look, Travis Flans has an upcoming uh, live stream. And you uh, or your subscribers, you can hit set reminder and you'll get email notifications uh, to remind you that it's coming up. Uh, so that's one of the biggest reasons for scheduling ahead of time is that you don't, um, if people are interested, you know, you can send this out via your newsletter, uh, via all your social channels that it's coming up. Then also tell people to, you know, click that bell for the reminder for whenever it's getting close. And um, yeah, and they'll get more reminders. So there's no downside to scheduling out a YouTube video. All right, so here I am back at looking at my own page. Um, I can set a reminder for myself. That's kind of interesting, but uh, whatever. Uh, so whenever you're ready to go live, now you're going to go back to YouTube and um, you're going to want to go into your YouTube studio again. And now you're also going to want to go back into the, the go live section. Um, and again, we are not using the third party streaming. We're using our webcam, but if you hit webcam, it's going to, it's going to want to know if you want to start a new one, but we're going to go into uh, the manage section. And here we see our upcoming, uh, our upcoming live stream. Um, and you can click into here uh, for your preview. Uh, you can upload a new thumbnail if you don't like that one, uh, which I would probably do in this case. So you can just create one and upload it. Uh, so it's got that artwork. Um, I'm not going to do that for this purpose. But um, let me hide the live chat here. Or I'm going to pop out the chat so you can see it while you're um, actually going to be live streaming. Let me move it out of the way. There we go. I'm just going to move it off the screen here. Um, and then whenever you're ready to go live, you just hit go live. You can actually go live earlier or later than the scheduled time. So you don't have to worry that it's going to be like, oh my God, it's live all of a sudden. Uh, you actually have to hit go live. Um, so now I'm just going to hit go live. My hair is a mess today. All right. So it says it's going live and I'm just sitting here in my basement, um, but let's pull it up on my uh, other browser and take a look at see what that looks like. So here I am and uh, and you can see so now, here I am and, uh, now that it's uh, live, you actually see me going live here. Uh, I paused it here so it doesn't overrun, but uh, let's... Sh and you can, and see, you can see now that, and, uh, now that now it's that it's live, you actually see, see me going, going live here. I paused. Uh, pause. So there is some delay. Um, there's gonna be about 30 seconds delay, but that's nothing to worry about uh, in the whole grand scheme of things. And then here I am back inside my YouTube studio. And whenever you're finished, just simply hit end stream. And yes, I'm going to end it. So now after you've ended it, you can go in and do your normal uh, YouTube editing and etc. Um, also, I want to mention is while you're live streaming, if people are watching it and you ask them questions, they can type in um, questions to ask you. And you see here, I'm back on um, as if I'm looking at this as a as a subscriber or a visitor. And you can see here's the top chat. Here's the chat. And if somebody is watching your video, they can type in questions and comments and actually go along with it. And I'll just type one in here. Now that I've ended it, let's see if it actually shows up after it ends. Um, yeah, see, it it shows up here. So you can enter, 
engage directly with people who are watching your video as it's happening. Now, the downsides, you may be asking, what are the downsides of uh, streaming this way? Well, inside, uh, using your webcam and your microphone, you cannot actually share your desktop. Uh, so this is purely a live streaming kind of talking head type of video that you're going to be creating. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You can't share share your desktop on your computer. You can't share uh, screenshots. You can't share uh, browser. So just keep that in mind when you're live streaming using your webcam. That's all you can do on YouTube, unfortunately. Uh, if you need more advanced, I would... Uh, suggest setting up a stream here in the uh, stream section. It's a bit more complex. Uh, after you set this up, it will um, it'll actually give you keys and codes that you'll have to put into your live streaming software. Again, uh, software that I've used are OBS and StreamYard are two that, that I use regularly. I will drop those links in the description below. So, um, there you have it. Pretty simple to get up and going uh, if you're just streaming your microphone and your camera to YouTube and scheduling it in the future, which scheduling a live stream on YouTube has so many benefits. Uh, get your audience excited and give them reminders uh, without a lot of effort on your part. So I hope that really helped you get set up and live stream with your webcam and your microphone from your desktop or laptop computer to YouTube. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I hope this helped you out. See you soon.